The following is a presentation of The Day. Hey, thank you so much for joining us at Live Lunch Break here in New London's Hygienic Art Park. My name is Rick Koster. We are streaming live from the day.com as we speak. And you know what? I think this is probably the final of our seven-week run here in the art park. And it has been a lot of fun. So thank you very much to Rich for having us. I don't know what we'll do in the future other than I will feed back because it is my mellifluous baritone voice that causes that to happen. We're very fortunate today to have on a day when the sun is about four million watts yeah. <laughs> and everybody up here is in black. <laughs> this is Steve Broderick and the 100 watt suns. Sha la la la, sha la la la, sha la 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 la. Sha la la la, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. Sha la la la, sha la la la, la 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 la, sha la la la, Keep on 
Thanks for having us, New Liners. And uh, the blessing living up here, ain't it? 100 watt suns indeed. Indian summer. I don't know, Indian cowboys. I'll take any summer I can get. It's called Couldn't Hold the Can of You.
I've always wanted to say this. We have to take a break for a word from our sponsors. And our sponsors are... Join Steve, Elsie, and friends. Learn and pretend. We can explore through our nation. And the music never ends. With Steve, Elsie, and, and friends. Exploration. Music. Discovery. Fun. Thanks for joining us at live lunch break here on this uh, late September day. As you suggested, Steve Broderick, it's more like summer than uh, fall, but it's a beautiful thing. I'm Rick Coster. We're streaming on theday.com, and of course, we're doing this live outdoors in the Hygienic Art Park. Thanks so much to Rich Martin for sponsoring this seven-week run of uh, fall summer concerts. Of course, Captain's Pizza is here as always. Thank you, Judy. If y'all are not taking advantage of the captain, take advantage, I guess that sounds weird to say, take advantage of the captain. But uh, you know what I meant, you know what I meant by that. So we're privileged today to have Steve Roderick and the 100 Watt Sons. And of course that's, uh, that's Dan over there, the one that looks like my pal Andy Timmons, also of guitar fame. DC back here on the drums, Marty on the bass, and everybody knows William Light, guitarist extraordinaire. Steve Broderick right here, the, uh, the namesake, I guess you'd say. Now, Steve, the last time you and I actually sat down and ate grilled cheese sandwiches together, there was not even a 100-watt suns in the future. So how did this all come about? I had the good sense to move up here near New London. That was the first part. And then I uh, started going out to shows and seeing some amazing things here at the Hygienic and, and seeing some incredible bands. And uh, luckily, some of these great players had a little extra time to jam on some of the music I was doing. And it just kind of grew and built. And uh, now it's uh, full steam ahead. Yeah, it seems like, uh, and you guys have a new five song EP out, self titled. Um, so pick that up. You can find it at the 100wattsons.com website. And of course, there's a Steve, stevenbroderick.com, right? For now, eventually it's you're you just going to get rid it's of it. It's all about the hundred watt suns. It should be, but at the same time, if you keep pushing Steve Broderick, then you can sell the domain name, maybe, and buy you guys like a super bus to drive around in and stuff. <laughs> Rick, I, I made a big mistake as a kid, man. When I started singing, I should have picked a, a stage name like uh, Elvis Spiders, yeah, or Marty Maroney <laughs> or something. You know, the, the Steve Broderick sounds like a plumbing supply company. So I don't, I miss that cool factor thing. You know, I don't know. I, if you were a singing plumber, that might work too. But I, I'm not too far <laughs> off, actually. <laughs> I remember you telling me, you know, because Stephen has been on the road uh, for a long time in a variety of bands, but perhaps most famously in the Trans Siberian Orchestra and regular gig and a lot of times that's a delicate commodity if you're a musician but uh when you got back and moved to north stonington and uh met amber and relocated here you told me you're not afraid of swinging a hammer so you you were prepared to make this sort of a lifestyle and now we've got this new band musicians it's definitely a roller coaster and like like just life is a roller coaster and uh you know we'll see i think i'm going this way i hope i think you're going <laughs> up uh Jay Messina, talk about his involvement in the EP. That's kind of a big deal. Yeah, Jay is a, uh, a legendary studio guy from New York. He comes out of the record plant, and uh, he's worked on some amazing records. And, and going to Jay Messina's studio is looking on the wall of golden platinum records of, of me as a kid going to buy these records. And it's, 
it's double fantasy and it's uh, you know Aerosmith rocks and 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 things like that. And uh, when we recorded this new song and we took a couple of the older songs and added uh, the band involvement to it, Jay did a bang up job with the new CD. And so. Are you going to actually add more tunes and ultimately come out with a full-length CD, or are you just going to work the EP for a while? Yeah, I think uh, you know this is kind of putting us out there and, and going forward. There's a lot of new music going back and forth, and there's a couple things in the vault that I, I hope we'll work up versions of. And uh, you know, it's just it's all about the music every day. Well, as you said, y'all are starting to get a lot of momentum. So uh, tell everybody where where can folks see you other than here in the hygienic for the next 30 minutes uh coming up soon we are at the uh, Lansdowne at mohegan i think that's the 27th 27th yep, yep. and then uh, we are at the jonathan edwards uh, fall fest on october 5th do you guys get free wine for that yes. the wine yeah. thing's dangerous yes, why that 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 wine in particular very dangerous you know okay. and very good <laughs> I gotta say, there was some quick response over my left shoulder here from some of these guys. Play there many times. Sometimes free isn't free. You know what I mean, man? I do. I do know what you mean. Well, I could just stand here and ask you guys a lot of questions because it's a fantastic band and it's good material, and it's also, as I said earlier, y'all are all dressed in black and it's 117 degrees out here. So, would you do us the courtesy of another set, perhaps? Absolutely. Thank you for joining us at uh, Live Lunch Break. Steve Broderick and the 100 Watt Suns.
called a little caffeine. And uh, musicians' hours, I think that's uh, that's about right right now, man. It's just about coffee time, right? A little technical issue. Hang on one second. There we is. Danny Watson's back. back. Should have turned. I think I right. couldn't see the mute button in the sun.
Thank you guys so much that was awesome back here percolating our dc and marty in the rhythm section <laughs> dan watson on the fender stratocaster william light on the gibson les paul that's the 100 watt sons and then of course steve broderick that was awesome wasn't it really good band thank you guys for joining us i'm rick coster for the day.com live lunch break thank you guys for joining us thanks to rich martin for having us for the seven weeks at the uh, hygienic art park Saturday night, uh, they've got the Portland Cello Project, which is well worth your time if you've never seen those folks. Thanks to Captain's Pizza for doing this. Next week, I'm not even sure where we're coming from. We're going to be at the Telegraph, all right, with Camacho. So you guys enjoy your autumn. Thanks very much. Have a good day.